Thank you, Mr. President. That's mighty nice of you to call. Gee, this is, this is a real honor. Well, it's a real honor to have you as a citizen of our state, my friend. You've got brought it more glory and reflected greater credit than just nearly anything I know of that's happened. Well, thank you, sir. And I hope you'll tell that sweet wife of yours how proud Lady Bird and I are both of you, and I know that she's entitled to about 60% of the credit. <laughs> You're exactly right. She's standing right here with me. Well, let me talk to her. Tell her to come on here. Tell her Hello. How are you? Hi, sweetie. I, I told him to tell you I knew that you were entitled to about 60% of the credit. <laughs> well, that's mighty sweet, but I tell you, I didn't sweat a drop today. <laughs> well, it, uh, it, was a, it was a beautiful thing. I just talked to Senator Russell up in Georgia, and he said that he just never had seen the job done better, one better executed. I hope you were able to relax and watch a little while. Well, I did for a little while, and uh, it got kind of uninteresting after you got so many touchdowns up there. I, I like to needle all these Texas people I'm around, you know. I've got a wife and a daughter and all of them. Uh, my children sat up by Linda today. Yeah, well, that's... And, uh, my 11-year-old son was so fascinated with being able to sit up there with the Secret Service men that he was just excited. <laughs> well, bless his heart, bless his heart. Lady Bird won't say hi to you, honey. Yeah. Is Royal? Hello, how are you? Well, my earnest and happy congratulations to you and your husband. Thank you. We're so honored that y'all would take time to call us. And I've been, I tried to get to say a word to you the other day. I can't say but what I had a tiny little bit of a divided heart. <laughs> but, yes, but, I'm, I'm sure it was hard on Linda sitting uh, up there. Actually, you know, I thought it would be. But she said, uh, Mama, those Yankees keep on talking about we're really not a uh, uh, terribly good team. We play in a low conference where they don't have to fight hard, and now they're going to have to realize we do have to fight hard. And so Lindbergh wasn't, wasn't uh, she wasn't as disturbed as I thought she would be. Well, that's good. That's real, that's real good. You should give her a great big hug and kiss for saying that for me. I will. <laughs> so good to talk to you. And, and, and my happy, happy congratulations to your wonderful husband, and here's Lyndon. Yeah, honey, is Daryl there? Let me talk to him, and good luck to you. Thank you. Hello? Enjoyed you coming out the other day and tell all your boys I'm mighty proud of each one of them. Well, Mr. President, I'm going to be talking. I'm sure that they'll ask me to say something in just a minute, and uh, with, with your permission, I, I'd like to tell them... That you just tell them that they reflected great glory and great pride in our state, and we are all so proud of their fine patriotism and manhood and sportsmanship and uh, uh, we know that they spent a lot of hours trying to that it was reflected there today and we just uh, our, our buttons are busted well thank you so much you just you just say you quote me anything you quote me i'll testify that i said it <laughs> all right then i also want to thank you for the, the kind invitation to, to come over to stonewall That's well we enjoyed having you wasn't that a wonderful thing it was a thrill i just i've been reading all the german press on it tonight and uh, the uh, German people just went wild about it. Did they? Well, wonderful. The yeah. chancellor went back and told them all that happened, and they were so they were so proud of their their people that come over here in 1848 and so forth. Well, that's great. Well, I'll be seeing you, Darrell. Good luck to you, and you're entitled some rest now and get it. All right. Sir, thank tell you. tell tell all your boys hello for me. I certainly will. Bye.